wait my orders. Spearman, move out. Welcome, Biotech is here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Divide and Conquer, a sub mod. Be very careful, a sub mod for Third Age Total War, which is a mod for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdom. So basically, you'll have to have Third Age Total War mod version 3.2 installed before you are doing this right and I'm going to leave links in the description because I already have a video on how to install third age total war so yeah you basically have to have that so once you've installed third age mod you want uh, I would suggest that you go to the moddable page of divide and conquer and basically if you are asking yourself what is divide and conquer well, it adds a lot of new units, it increases the map size and a lot of new stuff, basically. So it makes Third Age even more awesome, or whatever. Now, so once you are on the moddable, moddable page of Divide and Conquer, you want to go to either here to the file section, or you can scroll down, you also can see the change log and all that cool stuff, and you will reach the file section. And uh, you are interested in all the files over here, namely Divide and Conquer version 1, part 3, 2, 1, and patch 1.2. So the, uh, those are the files that you need to download. And basically you click on whichever one you want. Either, like, you'll have to click on all of them, and then just click on the big red button, download now. And it should automatically start downloading. If it doesn't, just click here, download part 1 exe or mirror, try a different mirror or try to wait a few minutes or make an account or login on Modable. If the error persists, then maybe it's something with your internet connection, so I can't do anything about that, sadly. So yeah, as you can see, it uh, already started downloading, but I don't need the file anymore. So that's all the stuff you'll need to do on the internet. So now let me uh, close Chrome, and I made a tutorial folder, as I always do, so that I can keep all the files very organized. So the first thing you want to do is also you can check here, well, um, I have changed the, basically the Americas with 1S is my third age Total War mod folder and you'll understand why I did that if you will, uh, will watch the how to install for third age now the first thing you want to do here is to click on DACV1 underscore part underscore one exe so that's the first one you want to install and the mod is quite big maybe it's even bigger than the main mod like damn and it actually adds a lot, a lot of new stuff. 
Okay. Also, you cannot have other mods or sub mods, so you'll have to have a clean uh, third age mod installation, basically. I, I, it is not compatible with other sub mods, because I don't think this is the only one. Okay, I, I accept the agreement, whatever, whatever. So it will, um, yeah, you'll have to automatically find your, because this is for Steam, apparently. If you have the CD version, I would suggest that you um, redirect your, um, your uh, like this thingy to where it says here, like mods, third age, free da uh, data. So let's basically do that. I don't need this. No, thank you. Let's go to... Like, who would ever... I, I really hate the default installation. Like, who would ever install in C? Like, usually you would never install in C. Stuff like that. Okay, so let me just find where I install Steam. There we go, Steam. Now you want to go to Steam Apps, come on, and find your Medieval 2 Total War. I think I skipped it, there we go. Medieval 2, and then you want to go to the mods. So for me, the Third Age Total War mods folder is the Americas with one S. And then you want to go to Data right so make it something like this mods and where you've installed if you didn't change the name for example if it's third age then install it in that data and just make sure okay so don't select data yet again just click on the the americas or what whatever uh, whichever you have um, put your because if you're asking why that is it's because when you load kingdoms, you have to select either Americas, Teutonic Order, or whatever, like the kingdom expansion campaigns. And basically, you replace one of those campaigns with your third age mod. So, uh, I didn't really like the Amer Americas campaign, so that's why I changed it. Right? So, yeah. And now... It, Every time I click on the play button and then I choose Americas, it will load the third age mod. So yet again, to make sure, just browse and click on where you've installed uh, like the main folder. Don't go into it as I did. And it will automatically add the data thing to the end of it. And then click next. Make sure it yeah, already exists and make sure it won't say data slash data don't that's bad you don't want that just one data to like folder should be like at the end so it already exists would you like to install to the folder yes i would and then install it and then it says existing uh, uh, click retry to remove the read only attribute and uh, re retry Click several times. Okay, so basically, some of those files were read only. And what you want to do is click retry because that will make them, um, will change that attribute. Basically, read only means that you cannot, uh, you know, change the data, just you can only see it. You can't change it. And if you can click on retry, it will remove the read only and it will install what it needs to install just retry click several times okay so i'm going to pause the video and once this is done i'm going to obviously resume so see ya till then okay so the first part has been installed now just click next and finish now let's do the same thing for the second part And yet again, it will take like 10 billion, trillion, trillion times. Oh man, I, I, I have no idea why it always takes so much time. Like you, would, you would think if you have eight processors, that it will process a bit faster, but nope. Nope. Windows, like older versions of Windows loaded files a lot faster than this, so... 
Oh boy. Anyways, you want to do the same thing, obviously. Uh, yet again, you want to select where you have installed your. Uh, okay, here we go. So if you have the CD version, just go where you've installed the CD version and in mods folder, click on whatever your third age is named, right? Okay. So yet again, I'm going to repeat this. This is not the basic Americas, right? Just to be clear. I don't want you, any of you guys just thinking, okay, I'm downloading those files and I'm going to install them in my basic americas folder no that's the third age of my normal americas is in the with the double s basically and if i want to play the americas campaign i'm just going to change the s like put uh, delete one s in the americas and put another one in the first one so that way it changes oh boy hopefully it is uh, clear clear enough so yet again I'm just clicking on Americas and it will automatically add the slash data and this is very important that's why I'm repeating it uh, that many times because it's important because if you are not installing uh, the mod in the correct place obviously it won't work so yeah but it is better to measure twice right and then cut then don't measure and count and you will see that it uh, is not uh, cut well or whatever. So it's better to be prepared. Oh boy, I don't know where I'm getting those uh, moral things or whatever. Okay, already would you? Yes, I would install. And the same thing, basically. And you want to do the same thing for a part 3. But I am going to show that on video as well because I want to make sure that you guys can install this mod. Like, everyone can install it. Know, apparently, it won't take that long for this one. So, let's see. I don't know, so we can check out how big the folder just became. Like, Oh, we have like 30 gigs of mod. Oh boy, that's a lot. Like the normal Americas is like 2 gigs, so yeah. Like those are the normal campaigns. You can imagine how much content the third age mod has now. Like, it's amazing. And the best part, obviously, is that it's free. You don't have to pay any DLCs. Uh, that makes you think a bit, like, if people, some people, like modders, give you more content for free, and then companies and developers just give you one armor or whatever, and they charge, like, $20, yeah, just shows who makes stuff for, for passion and who for money. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Like, I'm not saying that you shouldn't donate. Like, I think you can donate to the Divide and Conquer and Third Age mods because uh, there was a lot of work put into the mods. Okay, so now that we, we have done the part two, let's go to part three. And basically, yet again, we are going to. Like, this is more of a. There's a lot of time to wait for this to be done okay yet again like you can disable UAC like user account control or whatever like the thing that asks you are you sure but in general I would suggest that you leave it on just because if you are clicking on a program that you don't want to run, you can always click no. So you will have a less line of defense. Okay, yet again. Not the default. Yet again, who would install Steam in program files? Like, I have no idea. And maybe there are people out there who are doing that, but still, damn. Okay, common, and then find medieval there we go 
mods and then the Americas perfect and there should be data right now there we go yes installed hmm yet again this is going to go really fast Alright, actually I'm going to pause the video just because. Okay, so the last part has been done. So now you have the version 1 divide and conquer, but what you want to do is obviously patch it to 1.2. So that's what we are going to do now. Just click on DACV 1.2 exe, which is the patch. And the cool thing about this mod is that everything is on exe, so no Vinra, no 7-zip, no other complicated stuff. Okay. I accept. Next. Next. Let me guess. We'll have yet again to change it to what where it is supposed to go. Okay, online Steam, uh, not origin Steam, Steam apps, common, and medieval 2 mods, and the Americas. Let's see, does it work? Like, why are you insist? Uh, don't forget to delete. Uh, like as you saw there was a third age thingy over there delete that um, make sure that the last thing should be where you've installed the third age mod basically like this because uh, apparently it uh, does uh, like it uh, says third age free by default just because And this one doesn't need to be installed in data, so just the main folder, like here, the Americas. Okay, so soon enough, um, everything will be done. Just a little bit more. Okay, so third day age has been um, updated. Perfect. Finish. Okay, so now in order to start the mod, what you want to do is to go to your Steam uh, uh, Steam app, whatever, and then go to your Medieval Total War, click on Play, right, and select where you, uh, whichever one you have the Third Age mod installed as under, like the folder name. So for me, it's Americas. And then just click Play. So, as you can see here, it works, basically. We have the 1.2 here in the left bottom corner. And let's see. We have the third age campaign, the custom battles. We don't have the Fellowship of the Ring anymore, so... We have to take some sacrifices, sadly. And let's see in custom battles. What do we, we have... Let's do the, I don't know, Fords of Ice um, or whatever. And definitely you can see the difference. We have the Kingdom of Gondor, Principality of Dol Amroth, like a lot more. Like if you are looking at my how to install for basic third age, you'll see that you don't have nearly as many factions as uh, Divide and Conquer. 
So let's go yet again for um, uh, Gondor. Let's make our enemy, I don't know, Easterlings. Perfect. Now, look at how many new units we have. Like, I'm not sure which one, or like which units are new, but still, there are quite a lot. So, I don't know, let's make the computer pick some of those dudes. And there we go. And let's see. So here we are. Now everything seems fine. We have, like, it works basically. When we have new units, I am not sure which ones are new and which ones are old because I didn't play Third Age that much, but still. We have the Osgiliath veterans. I don't know what they. Like anyways, basically it works. The mod works. Let's look at the Easterlings here. Like with their cool armor and stuff. I have no idea why they are doing that. Anyways. Let me just quit. Exit battle. So, as you can see, the mod works, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next how to install a video.